I do not speak Spanish, but uh, I thought that the um, the concept of having uh, someone who is, uh, depending on who you talk to, either fairly well known in comedy or kind of well known in comedy in American comedy, placed in a foreign language film, would be kind of something you don't you don't see every day. I'm so impressed with Will. He was filming another film right before this one, so I don't know what time frame he learned Spanish. And Rosetta Stone is really good, but I didn't think it was gonna be that good. I was able to fall back on my extensive Spanish knowledge gained with three years of high school Spanish and one semester of college Spanish. So between that, I had it all up here. He has a beautiful accent. I was really impressed with that. We'll worry about <laughs> our accent now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Okay. That, all that knowledge, however, was supplemented by, uh, I had to uh, probably a good uh, month before filming, I would work with, uh, with a translator, you know, a, a good three to four times a week on the script and then every day we would drive to set together and go over all the scenes all that day's work so that when we began our day of filming no one was waiting on me to to learn the scene but it was a lot of rote memorization and uh, there was never first take it was never a first it was but it wasn't too bad right, right. the director's nodding his head at me so it wasn't uh, it wasn't 20 takes que nuestro padre y en petit ¿Cómo? ¿Again? Estos no son los Estados Unidos que, que nuestro padre estaba... I'm sorry. Estos no, son, estos no son los Estados Unidos que padre, que nuestro padre es... Oh, let's just cut. We told him that he needed to... Mm. You know, yeah, like, you know, you can't be Will Ferrell. Like, no, but it's just, uh, it sounds... Rah, rah, you, rah, rah, rah. That, you know, right? Yeah, rah, rah, rah. It sounds Will. Will, 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 Will what? Will yeah. Ferrell? Ferrell? So basically, he's, no. he's called uh, Guillermo Fierro now. Memo Fierro. I believe he's going to do good in Mexico. I think there's a whole uh, opportunity for me out there to kind of take control of the Spanish language market uh, in a way that's, uh, you know, never happened for a non-native speaker. Um, I have 17 projects in development that mostly in Spanish, some, a couple in Korean, and uh, one in German. So it's, ex it's an exciting time. You know, he's very good at looking at the business opportunity. Okay, good. I'm grabbing from there. And, and, and now he's holding on to and 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 let's see how long he will hold on to it but, but maybe you know maybe maybe it's good for us also yeah definitely <laughs> i mean we need a career in the states you know we're basically i'm bankrupt and uh, uh i have three kids now two that i've recognized but one, <laughs> one that i see every summer uh, and uh i need the money i need you know i need my my big moment to happen the, the crossover no they call it I, I guess I wasn't expecting to do a Spanish language film in Hollywood. I, I think it's <laughs> fun. I think it's interesting. Um, I, think, I think it's important. I think it's important that we're doing something different. We're taking risks. Certainly, I think um, Everyone is taking a certain risk. Like we don't know what line we're crossing, but we're certainly crossing one. And um, we're having a lot of fun with it. And I think that everyone will love this film. And cut. 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 <laughs>